It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today, it's Monday, April 1st, 2024. Number one, the entertainment world and fans everywhere are celebrating the life and mourning the death of legendary award-winning actor Louis Gossett Jr. His family announced his March 28th death. The Brooklyn, New York native was the first black performer to win the Best Supporting Actor Academy Award for his role as Marine Gunnery Sergeant Emil Foley in An Officer and a Gentleman opposite actor Richard Gere. Prior to his Oscar win, Louis Gossett won an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor for his portrayal of Fiddler in the groundbreaking television series Roots. Louis Gossett Jr. was 87 years old, the cause of death not immediately revealed. Number two, major efforts ramped up over the last several days to clear the Patapsco River in the wake of the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland. As efforts continue to search for construction workers presumed dead, one question surrounds the tragedy. Who were these men? They were originally from El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Mexico. The search for bodies was paused Wednesday as attention turned to clearing debris from the deadly collapse and reopening the port of Baltimore. Number three, the internet was abuzz last week with the news of actress Halle Berry sharing a story of a herpes scare during a fireside chat with First Lady Dr. Jill Biden when in fact the actress was entering perimenopause. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Barry recalled having extreme pain after sex and going to the doctor who told her she had the worst case of herpes he'd ever seen. She was tested and did not end up having herpes. As a matter of fact, it was a symptom of perimenopause due to dryness. While this led Barry to become an advocate for menopause, it reminds us how medical and structural racism affects our care. Number four, Lamont Johnson, a 44-year-old black man, was shot and killed by Detroit officers Tyler Nagy and Raul Martinez in October of 2018. On March 15th, in the U.S. District Court, Eastern District of Michigan, a federal jury awarded his family more than $1.5 million in damages after they filed a wrongful death lawsuit. The $1.5 million included $4,800 for funeral expenses, $100,000 for conscious pain and suffering, $420,000 for lost wages, $86,000 for medical expenses, and $900,000 for past and future loss of society and companionship. Number five, it's Ministry Monday. Proverbs 22.4 defines humility as the fear of the Lord. Its wages are riches and honor and life. Humility is also freedom from pride or arrogance. Humility is doing nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but count others more significant than ourselves. That's Philippians 2.3. Humble people are not boastful. They don't flaunt their wealth or accomplishments. And if they talk about those things, they give God the credit. Amen. Read more about humility in today's newsletter. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Being patient means allowing time to unfold naturally and understanding that some things are beyond our control. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with our social justice contributor, Coy Malone, as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, the American Heart Association and Black Health Matters. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed. Be empowered.